I'm Kenny Coleman, a technical marketing engineer for Tanzu Kubernetes Grid. And in this short demo, we will do a quick overview of Tanzu Kubernetes Grid's capabilities and then show an example of installation where we'll have a Kubernetes cluster ready for application deployments. Tanzu Kubernetes Grid is an enterprise-ready Kubernetes runtime. It doesn't matter if you're deploying on Amazon EC2, Azure, or vSphere, you will get a consistent experience everywhere. Tanzu Kubernetes Grid is more than just an automated Kubernetes platform that will completely manage the cluster lifecycle. It also has integrated services called packages that round out the entire Kubernetes experience. And since Tanzu Kubernetes Grid is closely aligned to the upstream and open source community, innovation happens at a quicker rate by including new functionality, such as enabling GPUs and Windows containers, all backed by VMware's expert global support team. And as a commercial product, you can come to expect tight integrations with other Tanzu offerings, such as Tanzu Mission Control and Tanzu Application Platform. Here's a simplified architectural overview of managed clusters with Tanzu Kubernetes Grid. The first Kubernetes cluster to be deployed is a management cluster. This Kubernetes cluster will have cluster API installed and knows how to talk to our target infrastructure through APIs that are used to provision new virtual machine instances, and they also consume network and storage resources for the Kubernetes cluster. Using a declarative model, workload cluster specs will be applied to the management cluster, and that defines what the cluster looks like, such as how many controller or worker nodes should be in the workload cluster. This is shown with the number one in purple on the slide. The management cluster will be responsible for the lifecycle management of the workload clusters, such as scaling and updating versions of Kubernetes and components, and also deleting clusters. The workload cluster is where our applications will be deployed, as depicted with the number two in purple, utilizing kubectl. After this has been completed, you have an environment that can be used for a wider range of application deployments, and you can also create more workload clusters if needed. But in addition to any user-based application that can be deployed, Tanzu Kubernetes Grid comes with its own packaging system, powered by Carvel. As clusters are created, there is a core packaging system that will be responsible for everything needed to create the Kubernetes clusters. This is extended with the Tanzu user packages that have the ability to add repositories for any types of packages. And Tanzu Kubernetes Grid has its own user repository that makes installation and lifecycle management of packages like FluentBit, Contour, External DS, Cert Manager, and many others, all available as a single command. These services can be used by the workload cluster or can be shared amongst all clusters, such as Harbor being shared amongst all the clusters. So let's move on to the installation of Tanzu Kubernetes Grid. Setting this up has four succinct steps. We're going to install the Tanzu CLI, then we'll install the Tanzu CLI plugins and Carvel tools, then we'll create a management cluster, and then create a workload cluster. Tanzu Kubernetes Grid has some prerequisites. Docker or Docker Desktop must be installed and running on your local workstation. If you're using Docker Desktop, the amount of RAM for the application needs to be six gigabytes or greater to run the containers required for creating the bootstrap cluster. If you plan on using vSphere, be sure to download the Kubernetes OVA of your choice and deploy it to vSphere and set as a template before proceeding. Please use this video as a reference, but always follow the documentation for complete setup instructions based on your particular operating system. Let's download and unpack the Tanzu CLI. Go to the download section of vmware.com and log in with your My VMware credentials. Visit the Tanzu Kubernetes Grid download page. Download the package for your operating system into a new folder that we'll call Tanzu. And you can unpack this bundle to begin the installation. Navigate to the CLI subfolder underneath the Tanzu folder and install the binary to the proper directory based on your operating system. Now we can initialize the Tanzu CLI with Tanzu in it. Let's check that the correct version of the CLI is properly installed and that the CLI version is the same as the current version of the Tanzu framework, which is also included in the Tanzu CLI. After you've installed the Tanzu core executable, you must install the CLI plugins related to Tanzu Kubernetes cluster management and feature operations. To keep things clean, let's remove any existing plugins from any previous CLI installations and run the Tanzu plugin sync command to install all the plugins for this release. If you do not have kubectl installed, do this now, following the documentation instructions or using any upstream process such as brew. Now it's time to install Carvel tools. Carvel provides a set of reliable, single-purpose composable tools that aid in application building, configuration, and deployment to Kubernetes. Tanzu Kubernetes Grid uses the following tools from Carvel's open source project. We use YTT, which is a command line tool for templating and patching YAML files, and it's used to support overlay-based customizations for clusters and cluster plans. You might need YTT if you plan to use customization overlays. KApp, it's the application's deployment CLI for Kubernetes. It allows you to install, upgrade, and delete multiple Kubernetes resources as one application. KBuild is an image building and resolution tool. 
An image package is a tool that enables Kubernetes to store configurations that are associated container images such as OCI images and transfer these images. Image package is required for deploying Tanzu Kubernetes grid in internet restricted environments and when building your own machine images. It's also required when configuring the Harbor package. Let's go ahead and you can follow the documentation on how to unpack these individual tools, set the proper permissions, and then move them into your preferred path. With the Tanzu CLI, kubectl, and Carvel's tools installed, you can set up and use your bootstrap machine to deploy management clusters, workload clusters, and service packages to vSphere, Amazon EC2, and Azure. Let's use the Tanzu Kubernetes Grid installer interface to deploy a management cluster using Tanzu Management Cluster Create using the flag UI. The installer interface launches in a browser and takes you through the steps to configure the management cluster. Click the Deploy button for VMware vSphere, Amazon EC2, or Microsoft Azure. Each one will have different parameters that you'll need to fill out. However, it's important to note that while filling this out, they will be saved to a configuration file that will be used to deploy the management cluster. There's no advantage to choosing one particular cloud over another. Once the management cluster has been deployed, every step from here on out for creating workload clusters or interacting with them is identical. So please refer to the documentation for additional help in configuring the management cluster for each type of cloud infrastructure. The process for deploying a new management cluster will generate a cluster configuration and then set up a bootstrap cluster on your local machine using Kind or what's called Kubernetes in Docker, and which is why we need Docker or Docker Desktop as a prerequisite. After the bootstrap cluster is up and the components are installed, a new management cluster is created on the target infrastructure and the necessary components are installed there. And then finally, the bootstrap cluster will be destroyed. This whole process will take about 15 to 30 minutes to complete. As mentioned previously, the installer saves the configuration of the management cluster to the cluster configs folder with a generated file name. After the deployment has been completed, you can optionally rename the configuration file for a more memorable name. For workload clusters, copy it to a new file name with a brand new name. Consider this your template for new workload clusters. You can edit the number of nodes or anything that would be provided as environment variables inside of the file. We can use Tanzu login to configure our CLI to talk to the correct management cluster, especially if we have multiple management clusters that have been created, not in just one cloud, but across multiple clouds. Now that we have the configuration file with everything we need, we can create new clusters by using the command Tanzu cluster create, providing a unique name for the cluster and then specifying the configuration file. The process for deploying a new workload cluster will take about five to 10 minutes based on the number of nodes configured for the cluster. And now that the workload cluster is up, we can see it using Tanzu cluster list. We can interact with the cluster by pulling down the cube config and setting the context of our kubectl to the new cluster. Here we can view the nodes of the cluster along with any running pods. The last part we'll show today is the user managed packages that provide in cluster and shared services to all your Kubernetes clusters. We can see the list of available repositories to us. We can also list all the packages available as well. The Tanzu package install list command will list all the packages that are currently installed on the target cluster. And using the Tanzu package install command, we can install a user managed package. For instance, to use cert manager, we can list all the packages available and then install the package by specifying the name, the package name, the namespace where we want it deployed to, as well as the version. After this is complete, we can confirm that the cert manager package has been installed. We can also confirm that the app has been successfully reconciled into our target namespace. And lastly, we can confirm that the pods are running as well. Thanks for watching this introduction to Tanzu Kubernetes Grid. Please remember, always review the documentation for the latest updates.